Hello everyone, it's Tachanka T. Freeman here. Uh, I don't know where the fuck I came from, but I'm here. And I do want to talk about something. Something... Fuck is that my nose? Oh, it hurt. Ow. But yeah, uh... Oh yeah, ow. Uh... Fuck. Uh, how am I going to start this? I, when I'm talking to myself, scripting out these damn things, it's perfect. It's perfect. You don't want to actually do it, it's shit. Delightful. Anyways, uh, the trunk of Freeman here. Uh, today I got an interesting, in, interest, interesting video for all of you because I have done something interesting. I have started a Patreon. Not yet, though. I might. But, due to issues with the series, um, due to being homestuck for, like, I don't know how long, I'd say it's been about a few decades. A, a few decades? No. I'll set you up right here. Right there. Is that good enough? Like happy? Comfortable? Bisexual? <laughs> Adjust my mask so I don't choke on the fabric. Maverick. Top gun. Funny haha. Funny haha moment. Uh, cringe. Uh, hmm. Is that good enough? Oh, let, me, let me get over here. That's good enough. This this thing looks so baggy. I, I cannot handle it. Uh, okay, back to where I was doing. ADHD kicked it off. I keep hitting. Uh, for the series, yes, for the series, I made a made this. Now, if you're wondering what this is, I'm doing commissions to fund the series and other things that I can't get to due to the situation I'm in, and it will basically fund. The projects I've been wanting to get to for years, but sadly, due to the weather conditions, my thin ass skin, not thin skin, but like very sensitive hands, I can't do yard work out there to get the monies that. Ah! Ugh. Ugh. The hair. But yeah. I've been thinking about it because, like. I had this, I had the idea, like a few years back, like two, three years back, maybe 2021, no, 22, I think, I had this idea. Uh, make art get War Thunder premium currency, which is Golden Eagles. I had, I had that idea. And I, wait a on, it's fucking minute. Uh, may have to change the res- There we go. That was the problem. Ah, hopefully that works. Uh, uh, so many fucking errors with this. Maybe I should just start over again. No, no, no I'm not gonna start over again. Uh, Gmod, funny, money, uh, wah wah. Uh, I get the fuck. Why do I, s I script this shit in my head and when I try to do it, it's fucked. Uh, the, f the thing thing, the fucking money, uh, art, oh yeah, art. I get, I make art of people's sonas, and I get money in return, or thunder currency. Uh, boom, bam, I get rich. But then I thought, in the modern day era, I'm like, hmm, maybe, a friend make art, they get money. I art make, get money, use fund for series, friend, money for, I'm having a stroke here, fuck. I get money, I get money. Fund series, make art in return, or if they want to, they can just donate. That's why I'm thinking of starting Patreon. But I don't know how to money do fun thing. I don't fucking know. But, but, well, but, I have an idea. Uh, I make a Patreon thing, uh, donation thing. 
But here's the thing, when other YouTubers say Patreon, they usually say exclusive content and such. But to me, I don't have any exclusive content, I think. It's just straightforward when it's posted. There's no, like, behind the scenes or anything. If there is, it comes after it. But, I don't really fucking know how to do that. But, the donation part, I don't... That's the one thing that I'm confused on, like... My Gmod, which is not really a Gmod series, it's more of a complex and long story told using Gmod as a way to express it in a three-dimensional story. That's basically what it is. But I need the money to fund the series to get better models that can actually be like the emotioned faces and such. To fund the uh, software that I use for the voices, which... For me, uh, the voice is, is just a free text-to-speech voice, which I do want to change. For Cody, it's a website called kits.ai. Now, this website is not really AI. It's more of like... A, it's, it's like voice mod, but you can use text-to-speech and your voice, or a combination of the both. Like, oh, one part your voice, the other part the other thing. Or you can just dr drag and drop an audio file and it'll put that like filter of that voice onto it and you can like make funny shit. And people have done that before. Unlike RVC, which is the most complex fucking thing I've ever seen, I do not want to touch that thing. That thing's the devil of hell. I do not want to get near it. But kids.ai is the most simplest thing. Sadly, there's not a Steam version that you can download for just a single price and go to the Steam Workshop and just download all of the files and such. No, not, not the files, but like, download like from the Steam Workshop and the add-ons for the voices, which are just thousands of voices, and just boom, boom. Kind of like the Terraria thing. It's like, oh, import. Basically like that. But sadly, that thing doesn't exist, and I hope it does in the future, because I'd love to get that, because it would help my series a lot. But, yeah, th 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 that's what I have planned if... The donations go in the right direction. I get new models that are very well made, very well made. Clothing options, damaged, like, oh, uh, Cody. He's just a wolf with protogen stuff, and I'm not going to spoil any of the reason why he's wearing that. But all I can say is that his damaged models, model will be like dented, rust, not rust, because it's, it's like carbon fiber, it's thick carbon fiber that is very lightweight. It's really nice, really nice. I I would try to make a fursuit of Cody, but I don't know how to make fursuits. Uh, but, but, <laughs> I can make my voice sound like a... But, funny, funny, funny. Uh, for Cody, uh, I don't know. Uh, his Gmod model, as of now, is not really Gmod, well, not, like, filmmaking. Because his joints, like, his hand is like, like that. At times, like it's like bent, like broken and bent, and like when he's trying to when you try to move his arm, he's like, and it just goes right through him. It's the most silliest thing, but no, I fucking whispers up here. God damn. <laughs> but yeah, for Cody, that's what it's gonna be like. Just like. There's a whole bunch of different stuff, from different clothing options to literally just nothing, and just his fur color, his face, and his ears, and everything else, like, like tail, uh, colored, co colored legs, just just normal furry type look without the stuff. For me, on the other hand, it's gonna be interesting, and not that type of interesting fucking dirty mind. It will be. Uh, very, like, cartoonish, like, the standard cartoon fox. Not that big, hound-like snoot that she has. It'll be thin and feminine-type look. Because she's a female, not a tomboy. Uh, her ears will be able to be positioned in different directions, like, oh, there'll be... Like, what I see is, like, three different, like, things that you, like, adjust by, like, doing that in, like, the facial things. And you can make one ear go up, and then one stay, or just both of them go up. Or you can have one, oh, and there'll be one little thing where you do that, and they both go up at the same time, and you can just reset it. For the facial expressions, they'll be very complex. Like, oh, the eyes can move, the face can, like, be contorted in different ways to where it can show, like, disgust. Uh, 
happiness and just a bunch of other things and the teeth there will be teeth too and not like just like blank like white spots like there is on the ugh. and for the like the storytelling it's very nice and also in my server uh if this series goes well which i do hope it does I will make a channel that is specifically meant for that series and people can suggest maps and or different like things here and there like different text-to-speech softwares that are free to use that can be used for it or just a whole bunch of other things which would be a good add-on but the series is not that popular yet but popular popular yet so as of now it's just a matter of time before it goes kaboom and it becomes a like a childhood thing for many many people like how gmod animation was for me i want my series to be like that to others and even stranger this series is like a passion project something that the inner child in me always wanted but never got and is now finally getting it but i'm having to create it and the inner child is having to watch it while it's being created it's kind of like oh you have a favorite show on nickelodeon you get invited to the studio and you get to watch them actually make an episode It's kind of like that, but it's like it's just myself It's, it's a nice thing. It's a, it's a very nice pleasant feeling because it's like finally I'm getting what I wanted, but in return I'm making other people happy and interested into it, too, though the poor uh, Style that it's in is just the way that I like to make it. I could make it better, but that would take too long but I would love for it to be a lot more animated and I'm trying to like get to that point to where it'd be very animated to where like I can learn Gmon stop motion animation to where I can like make the like, body move but as of now the classic animation style will be the, the common go around but I'm hoping that I can get those models made by the end of next year or the middle of next year or this year I don't know when but I hope something good happens that makes the series go up to the point to where I can get the stuff I need made for it plus I can have like a whole bunch of people or not a whole bunch of people but a lot of people suggest like different maps they've won even like a map voting system like in the bottom like if, if the series does go off and a bunch of people join my server and such because of the series uh, I'll have a channel like like a channel section all the way at the bottom under like the War Thunder stuff, that would be uh, G uh, S H H because I mean something the the title something's happening here. Funny enough, the name is from uh, why is that song again? It's like hmm, I know the song. It's like I don't know what it is. I'll put it up on the screen right now, but like that's the song. That's the song that's referring to because. Like, like, it's just, like, this, like, there's something going on here. And what it is can't be clear. That's basically, like, the idea that I had for the name. Because, like, the first title, like, song is, like, there's something happening here. What it is can't be clear. Or whatever the lyric is. I kind of forgot about the song. Oh, yeah, it's called For What It's Worth. Yeah, that song. Like, that song is kind of what inspired the title of it. Because, and like the type of surrounding of it but the fact that like that's all of like just what I thought of is pretty impressive because I never thought in like my entire life that I'd make something like that but the fact that I did is surprising that's still recording 15 minutes wow I want to cut that short but but <laughs> but uh, yeah my series, that is a big thing of mine. It's a passion project that I would love to basically show the world, so to speak. Get people invested into it. More like, like, basically start a little community around it. Where it's like, people, like, kind of like uh, FNAF. Where it's like, a bunch of people make theories of like, Oh, what, what happened here? What is that? Why is this like that? What happened? Like that. I would love for that to be the type of, like, thing that goes on with the series. Like, people are, like, discussing, like, what the fuck happened in the newest episode and, like, why. But sadly, I'm not, like, a big person and it's not going to end up, and I hope not, it doesn't end up kind of like a uh, digital circus. 
That is a train wreck. <laughs> I'd rather have it be like, uh, a slow climb, I should say, kind of like FNAF, where it just barely got any traction, and then, like, it slowly, like, got up. And that's how I want it to be, like, a slow trek to what it should be. A thing that everyone can enjoy. But the fact that uh, it takes time, maybe I can get friends and such to, like, help me with it. Like, like different scenes and such. It would take a while, but with their help, it could probably take, like, around a day to make a... To, to get all the clips for the episode. And the bloopers. There will be bloopers for, the for, for like, like mistakes and such that happen when recording the scenes. Some of them are pretty funny and random. That just happened. Like... No. Stop making sound. Plane, shut up. <laughs> Telling a plane to shut up. But yeah. Uh, whoever's watching this at this to this point in the video and hasn't clicked off like a minute or two beforehand, you're probably one of the only like few people or person or or the few single persons watching this that actually made it this far, and I thank you a lot, because the more you watch the videos, like, that I make, the more it can be into the algorithm, and the more it can help me build this career to where I don't really have to work my ass off day to day to make video after video that nobody watches, or watches, like, the first 30 seconds and then just clicks off and forgets about it. Like, that's the issue. Like, see, like, in the graphs here, that I'm watching on the screen, uh, yeah, that is an uh, odd issue that I have been experiencing. My content has been declining a bit. And I should probably point out that maybe YouTube Shorts that is doing that. I mean, it, it, it can't not be because they intentionally made YouTube Shorts to just ruin like small creators like me. I mean, I've seen children Literal children younger than me spam posting the same video and they get thousands and thousands of subscribers and views and likes and active comments. And I'm just like, bro, I'm here making an actual effort, put, put, putting in effort into content. Yet children who literally just do like random like edits of random shit get like and, like, what I mean by random shit, I mean, like, take a CapCut template, slap just a random character into, like, the template, like, things, and then just press, like, create. And that's basically, in, and then upload, and then that's what they just do. And it's insane. Like, they barely put any effort into making those things. Yet, for me, I literally sometimes stay up late, at, late ass at night to just get one entire section of the scene completed. And that's just the recording part. I'm not talking about editing. Editing is a whole new thing, and I love to edit the, the videos. It's the filming that's the hard process. But, yeah. I'm just hoping that whoever's watching this could just, like, like and subscribe and whatever, if they've made it this far. Uh, and hopefully, and I mean, I hope, which you can if you want to, Share the video and try to get it boosted a bit to where people can learn more about the series. Which, I'll, I will link the playlist down below and, and like, up in one of the corners. I don't really know the perspective because sometimes, like, I don't know if this camera's inverted. Is it? Okay, yeah, I, I see it, I see it. Uh, it'll be up in the corner up there, but as of now, uh... The series that I would love for it to become big enough to where people make like fan animations and just a kind of like Sodor Fallout, which is like there's a bunch of different fucking things of it that people have made of it, but like similar to that, but with my series, but it's like not like Fallout based. It's more like mysterious animation memes and shit like that. Like like things that can kind of like like fun things that I can just stumble upon. Like oh, that's that's funny. I like that. Like, like, you know, but like the fact that it takes so long for anything to happen, it's like, like, it's like a countdown to what could happen. 
and I'm like, oh, could the could Gmod fuck up and delete everything, or could the Steam Workshop get completely purged because of a hack, and all the like Miu Cody model just gone? Like, like that's what I that that's what keeps me up at night sometimes. Cause like, if I don't make these episodes, something could happen tomorrow, and I could it could be just gone forever. Until I have to learn like actual 3D animation, use Blender and all that shit, and it's just a mind fuck, and I don't like that. So I'm just hoping that maybe like people could like help fund the series and such like that and other things. But as of now, as of now, everyone, I show uh, st pause this up, like stop the video because right now it's probably heading into like 15 minutes. As of now, it was like 22 minutes. It'll be cut down short from all the pausing. But, yeah, consider subscribing because a lot of the people who view this are not subscribed. Uh, hit the like button to help push this into the algorithm because, God forbid, the algorithm is an unholy masterpiece that chucks people like me into the dumpster and just praises the YouTube short kings. Which is not a good thing for people like me, you know? Or you, if you were a small channel watching this. But, yeah. Uh, subscribe, like, uh, share, comment, just d do anything that can like help boost this video and boost my channel uh, and such. And I can just say uh, goodbye, everyone. And uh, wait, no, even better. Uh, see y'all in the next one. Blah, blah.